Off and facing, firing from the far outside. That's you bet to win in between Pacers cruise level and on the inside. Am I right or wrong? has got them stacked up three wide round the first turn. Am I right or wrong? From the inside, wants to be the leader. Take off A on the inside now to second. Cruise level backed off to third. You bet to win, found a seat in four. And the early trailer, that's Da Vinci Archie, can see them all. It's a fired up leader on route to the opening quarter. Am I right or wrong? The opening quarter, 29 and four. Am I right or wrong? The Carpenter's got the hammer down on the filly, and she's clear by four round the second turn. Take off A, tries to tighten in from second. Cruise level in third. Fourth is you bet to win. Still no move from Da Vinci Art. The horses straighten up in front of the fans. They start to close in a bit on the headstrong. Am I right or wrong? Halfway home, am I right or wrong? Take off A, just lost a head pull. She's second. Cruise level is third. The opening half mile was serious. A minute, one-fifth. Am I right or wrong? She's five-eighths of a mile incomplete. Take off A with the broken gear is second. Third is cruise level on the inside. Here comes you bet to win out of the four hole and on the move. Trailer still Da Vinci Art. Halfway down the backside, it's all am I right or wrong? She looks strong by three quarters. 130 and four, but she just stepped a little sideways. Look out, gentlemen. Halfway around the turn, take off A now, inherits the lead. Second on the outside now, that's your bet to win. Cruise level is third, Da Vinci Yard fourth. And after her problems, I'm right or I'm wrong, trails. Top of the stretch, it's take off A. You bet to win on the outside. Cruise level up the cones, take off A. You bet to win, cruise level on the inside, right down to the wire. First time's the charm for Colin DeCourcy. He wins his first lifetime drive. Cruise Who's level in the passing lane got the job done. Time for the mile 203. Cruise level and Colin DeCourcy take the opener. them off and pacing great start in between pacers yankee dancers first one into the turn on the outside jan down is second mo mara gets away in third northern smoke out is fifth away or sorry that's fourth away fifth is million dollar jewel and after the early miscue true ponder trails the field battle brewing on route to the opening quarter jan down steve mason didn't want a seat he drove the two and three year old champion of the Atlantic Sire Stakes, right to the lead here. Jan down, Macy's got her right where he wants her. She's on top by the opening quarter, 30 seconds flat. Yankee Dancer really stern will sit in second. Momera is third. Headstrong and she is to the outside now. Back to fourth is Northern Smokeout. The Million Dollar Jewel is fifth, and True Ponder pulled up. Horses come in front of the grandstand. First time around on the inside, Jan down. Momera's right up and at the leader. These two hook up halfway home. Jan down on the inside, Momera on the outside. They're by the half a minute and two fifths. Best trip of all goes to Yankee Dancer in third. Northern Smoke out trying to close in from fourth. Million Dollar Jewels got work to do from five. They hit the five eight, straighten up down the backside. Momera on the outside, taking it right to Jan down. Yankee Dancer bides her time in the pocket, likely will await the passing lane. Halfway down the backside, it's still Jan down. Momera working hard on the outside. Yankee Dancer is third. They went by three quarters, 131 and one. Jan down opens up a length. Momera not going away. She's coming on the outside again. Yankee Dancer is third. Northern Smoke out fourth. Million Dollar Jewel is five. They hit the top of the stretch. Jan down and Momera on the outside. Momera relentless today. Jan down tries to battle back. Momera, Jan down. Momera brought her A game today. Second was Jan down. Third goes to Yankee Dancer. Time for the mile. Two minutes, one fifth, Mo Mara. There they go.
go off and pacing Grimsby from post two pushes his nose into the lead around the first into the first turn from the inside victory George gets away in second Max Mike and GGB all three of them are in the three hole then upstairs with Ron's away fourth and the early trailer golden opportunity can see them all horses on route to the opening quarter it's the gray Grimsby and Wayne Hubbard they set up shop on the front end opening quarter mile Coming up, second is the Victory George. Third, Max Mike and GGB. They're by the opening quarter, 29 and two. It's Grimsby right on down the road. Second is Victory George, Max Mike and GGB. First to move to the outside, upstairs with Ron, eager to go on. He was fourth, now third. Golden opportunity will follow that move. The horse, the field starts to tighten up as they come in front of the fans the first time around. It's Grimsby on top. Second on second on the inside, Victory George. Upstairs with Ron now works his way up to third. They were by the half. Serious 59 and 4. Grimsby right on down the road. Second on the inside, Victory George. Max Mike and GGB is three. Upstairs with Ron Stalls on the outside in fourth. Golden opportunity ready to swing wide. Down the back stretch they go. <clears throat> It's still Grimsby on top. Second is Victory George. Upstairs with Ron now third. Golden opportunity the outside fourth. Three quarters, 130 and four. It's still Grimsby on top. Second is Victory George. Upstairs with Ron on the inside third. <clears throat> fourth is Golden Opportunity. They hit the top of the stretch. It's still Grimsby on top. Victory George out to try him on the outside. Grimsby digs in. Victory George coming on the outside. They're tight down to the wire. It's ribs for the cheeseburger. Grimsby all the way. Rain Victory George was second. Upstairs with Ron third. Time for the mile. 201 and four. Grimsby takes race number three. And they go off and pacing center of the gate. Stare down, meter leader from the inside. Wants to be the leader into the first turn. It's meter leader on top. Stare down on the outside, still driving after the leader. Right there, third is Coral Snake. Cecil's Express eased off the gate, and he trails early. The battle's on to the opening quarter. On the outside, stare down, and Dr. Downey, they put the hammer down on route to the opening quarter, trying to clear. Meter leader, grab leather and let the leader go. Right there, third is Coral Snake. Opening quarter, 29 and one for Stare Down. He widens his lead now to two. Meter leader is second. Coral Snake tagging along in the three hole and no move yet from Cecil's Express, but you can bet when he does it, it'll be a quick one. Horses single file in front of the fans the first time around. It's Stare Down on top. Best trip of all goes to meter leader in second. Coral Snake not looking anxious yet in third. Cecil's Express still fourth. They hit the brakes by the half. 59 seconds flat. It stared down on top. Meter leader right there, second. Coral Snake is third. Cecil's Express headstrong and fourth. He steps to the outside. They straighten up down the backside. It stared down under attack. Cecil's Express fast like a ball on the outside. He sticks his nose on by. Cecil's Express on the outside tries to clear. Stare down tries to find more. Coral Snakes off the cones in third. They went by three quarters, 130 and one. Cecil's Express is opened up by three. Stare down second, Coral Snake coming on the outside and third, meter leader is fourth. They come to the top of the stretch, Cecil's Express by three. Coral Snake on the outside. Stare down on the inside, but down to the wire, Cecil's Express. First Scott Hubbard takes for the preferred two. Coral Snake was second. Stare down third, time for the mile. Two minutes flat, Cecil's Express. And they go off and pacing. Only the lonely steps off the gate, but magical Alex from the inside wants to be the leader in the turn. Off stride, only the lonely. 
Everybody's through okay. Off stride now goes Fall Bliss. Everybody gathers up. Magical Alex got a breakaway of about three lengths. Skippy is clear now and driving up in second. Fall Bliss sets back down in his third. Honto is fourth, and after the early break, that's only the lonely. Field strung out well by the opening quarter. They're all chasing Magical Alex. 30 and one, the damage could be done. Magical Alex is your leader on top. Second is Skippy. Tightening in from third comes Fall Bliss. Then we have Honto in four and gapped out after the early break. Only the Lonely looking lonely back there now. Horses straighten up in front of the fans first time around. Magical Alex casting his spell on the front end. He's the leader halfway home under tight lines to Todd Trites. Skippy's right on the leader's back. Fall Bliss is third. They went by the half, pedestrian 102 and four. Magical Alex, his race to win or lose now. Skippy the best trip of all in second. Fall Bliss third, Hunto tries his luck on the outside, was fourth, now third, and starting to close in on the leaders. Down the backside they go, it's Magical Alex on top. Skippy right there on his helmet. Hunto working hard on the outside, no move from Fall Bliss, he's still fourth. They went by three quarters. 134 and one. Magical Alex should be hard, tough to catch off those fractions. Trites just give him his head and he steps out by two. Skippy tries to hang on to second. Fall Bliss is third and Honto is fourth. Hit the top of the stretch. Abracadabra. Magical Alex by three. Skippy out to second. Far outside. Fall Bliss. It's a Magical Alex. Wire to wire for Todd Trite. Second was Skippy. Fall Bliss up for third. Time for the mile, 2.03 and 1. Magical Alex and Todd Trite's capture the Ribfest pace. Uh.